Have you ever had something happen to you that absolutely no one else believes? Perhaps you saw something nobody else could. Well, I had a similar experience when I was younger. My friends and I all got together to spend our spring break amongst video games and junk food. We each decided since my family was going on a vacation that my house would be the perfect location to hang out. It wasn't long before we descended into a world of competitive gaming and gorging ourselves on snacks. This was a much needed break from the monotonous drone of everyday school life. Though, it wasn't long before our supplies started to run thin and we needed to decide what to do. After some debating, we all ended up on the idea of ordering some pizza. My mother had left some extra cash for food, so it was up to me to place the order. It was pretty late, but the pizza place took our order anyway, telling me that it would be 45 minutes to an hour. Satisfied that our stomachs would soon be sated, we resumed our games. Before long, we had lost all track of time and the night was completely on us. After slaying countless zombies, one of my friends inquired as to where the food was. I agreed with him that it should have been here by now. Not being the ones to check, they prodded me to the door. A slight chuckle at my cowardly friends, I made my way through my darkened home and arrived at my front door. The way the front of my house is set up, we have a rather large bay window parallel to the front door. Though, as I approached, a knock boomed throughout the door. I knew in the whole of my mind that it was the delivery guy, but something about the knock seemed off to me. We had a perfectly good doorbell, and the knock itself didn't seem like one of a man in rush. It was slow, deliberate. It came from someone patient, waiting. Not being one to take chances, I crept over to the window, just to be sure. Peeking around the edge, what I saw was a looming shadow. The porch light above flickering violently. Petrified at what I was seeing, I wasn't sure what to do. In that instance, the creature turned to the window. Almost as a primal instinct, I lunged down under the sill, praying that I hadn't been seen. Immediately, I crawled back to my friends who were all still in my room. I was bombarded by multiple questions on where the pizza was, but I think they could tell something was wrong by the look on my face. I told them that there was something at the door, and it wasn't the delivery guy. Laughing it off as some late night prank I was pulling, another member of our group rose up to express his braveness. He marched out to the darkness, and I followed closely, strength and numbers in mind. As we reached the door, I told him to wait so I could check the window once more. Though as I neared the glass, a loud ring resonated throughout the house which caused my friend and I to shriek loudly. Looking through the window in a haze, I saw the bright blue uniform of a man holding a pizza who seemed to be whistling. I was mocked for being such a child as I made my way to the door. Upon paying for the food, I asked the delivery man if he had seen anyone else out here. Of course, he said no, and headed back to his car. With a large sigh of relief, my friend took the food back to the others and left me with locking up. As I was closing the door and watching the delivery man drive away, in the dim glow of his brake lights, I saw the creature standing on the other side of the street. Slamming and locking the door, I ran back to my friends. I told them all what I had seen, but they, to this day, still don't believe me. I am positive that whatever was out there that night is still wandering around, waiting for someone to open the door.